Real quick, this is a little app that I wrote for my wife and I. It's uh, running on my web server. It's uh, written uh, basically in HTML, JavaScript. I actually wrote this app a few months ago and it worked great, but I just rewrote it this morning. Originally I wrote it using some basic uh, JavaScript and, um, and the server side was mostly bash scripts. Uh, I had some issues because I have a bad habit of saving my data in plain text files. So um, if we uh, put weird characters and sometimes exclamation marks and stuff would screw up our shopping list and basically I'd have to go and manually remove stuff. So I rewrote it using uh, jQuery mobile, uh, using Ajax for some of the submit stuff so the whole page doesn't have to reload, and um, MySQL for the database. Uh, so this is the way it works. Uh, basically, me and my wife can both log on to this and um, add stuff for grocery lists and whatnot. So when I get to the store, she can be adding stuff to the list and I'll be able to see it. So basically, I click in this text box here, and then I can type and I can access some of this on a regular computer, but I can also use my uh, voice to, to uh, text here. And basically, the way it works is I say the name of the store followed by a comma, and then each item I want uh, followed by another comma, divided by a comma, separated by a comma. So here we go, an example, I'll, I'll just do this. Publix, comma, chicken, comma, pasta, comma, spaghetti sauce. So you can see the list right there says Publix, chicken, pasta, spaghetti sauce. So now if I click add item, add items, uh, you can see it now adds all those items under Publix. Uh, so it creates a list. So I can also go here and I can go Target, comma, cups, comma, plates, comma, silverware. And so same thing, you can see it says Target, cups, comma. So the first thing in the list is the store. And I can add items. And adding items take a second because it's that's doing a free a full page reload here um, but you can see those items now under target and you can see them divided up and so if I add more to Publix it would add them up here um, and uh, so each thing is in its own little group real easy for us to remove stuff now before my old script it would have to completely reload the page but now I'm using uh, jQuery and uh, uh, some Ajax to remove it so the whole page doesn't have to refresh so it's a little bit uh, quicker to respond and uh, it happens real time so then like at any point if I refresh the page if my wife was at home she could be adding stuff to this list and it would show up when I do refresh the page it does remove any empty lists um, and uh, one of the problems we had before was uh, apostrophes were screwing stuff up as well as special characters and right now uh, I can type in special characters and apostrophes I'll give you an example of one that was giving us problems before I can go Sam's Club, chick yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sam's Club, comma, chicken, comma, sausages, comma, bread. So you can see right here that Sam's Club has an apostrophe in it. I'll add that to the list. And you can see Sam's has an apostrophe there and stuff still removes from the list. And same with stuff in the list. Uh, it's okay if they have apostrophes or other special characters. Um, right now the only issue I have is uh, quotation marks. So I just told my wife don't put any quotation marks into it. So uh, that's just using, uh, like I said, uh, mostly jQuery mobile on the uh, client side uh, and then PHP on the server side using uh, MySQL. Uh, and in the next uh, month or two, uh, not only am I going to continue my basic uh, shell script tutorials, I've created a whole uh, list of tutorials I'll be uploading on jQuery, then I'll be moving on to jQuery mobile, and then we'll look into actually making apps and maybe packaging them into uh, like Android apps if you wanted to actually package them into APKs. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, very simple little app. Uh, jQuery mobile makes it very easy to make it look and feel like a, uh, like a mobile app. And uh, me and my wife use this all the time. And uh, hope I encourage you to make some things that make your life a little bit easier. Thanks for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Should be a link in the description to my website. And as I said, uh, we'll be learning how to make stuff like this in the near future.